why you are here? You are here for a purpose. And you have to know what is your purpose. I know my purpose. And you also should know why you are here. You are here not just for a, a healing or deliverance. But you are called for something greater things. And you have to ask the Lord, what is your purpose? What is your calling? Everyone are called for a purpose. So if you do not know your calling, your time will be wasted. Yesterday we had a, a cell meeting there. Karevkunu uh, Palace, there. Subha sister, uh, uh, that was, uh, she conducted a cell meeting there. Some of the people who are working in Ayurveda College, she gathered and yesterday, 4.30, there was a meeting for one hour. It was very blessed. They did not come here. Tomorrow they will come. Yeah. So, uh, you can give her uh, some, some minutes late, uh, a little more. Do you understand? Two minutes or five minutes, according to how many people are there. Because we have said before that uh, those who conduct cell meeting, a little time will also be given. Do you know that? Did you understand? Five minutes and she said she doesn't want. It's okay. I just said. So why I am saying is everyone has to conduct uh, a cell prayer and bring people to here. Why? This is not a place for just singing and preaching. If you want to sing, there are many radio clubs. There are clubs there in the um, local areas. There are many clubs conducting many song competition, singing competition. Uh, there are uh, preaching competitions everywhere going. So there are many places like that. But this is a place to make soldiers or uh, revivalists for end time revival. And Jesus has called us for a revival. You have to work uh, 24 hours. You cannot say I am tired. Such people cannot work in this ministry. How many of you understand? If anyone is saying I worked a lot, I am tired. No. Elijah ran before the four horses. Elijah got the anointing to run before the four horses. How many of you understand? So, when you are the right person who has been enlisted by God in the ministry, God will release the anointing. And you, if you don't understand, I will tell you what I am saying later. How many of you are happy today? So, some people who come from other church, they have never seen this kind of training. When they, they come here, they say, why the people are uh, fighting with us? Why they are behaving like this? Did you understand what I am saying? Some people say, are you understanding my language? <laughs> so, some people say, Pastor, why you are allowing such people? The, some are uh, fighting, some are... Uh, defaming my name and you are silent why they were just believers in their old church but now they have come here as a minister when you minister enemy will arise but if you are a believer everyone will love you how many of you understand that is ministry you have to know that I think you have understood. Now, if you are a believer, everyone will like you. Because you are coming here, no problem. But if I am telling you, you are going to minister, there will be enemy arising. How many of you understand? Hallelujah. That is in the ministry. That's why what Jesus said, I will take, give you a word. Those who, did you get the uh, calendar? You can take one calendar home. Anyone want the calendar? Yeah. You did not get. Eh? You want one more? I will give you uh, after this meeting. So let me take the Bible. Praise the Lord. 
the book of Matthew chapter 13. You can open your Bible, the book of Matthew chapter 13, verse 10. What it is saying? Ah. You see, book of Matthew? 1 3. Uh. Uh. So, he answered and said to them, because it has been given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it has not been given. Did you understand? A faith, to a faithful servant, God will reveal the ministries, the mysteries. If you do not know the mystery, you cannot come out from the problems. You cannot do a powerful ministry. So what I am telling you is, you have come here to know the mysteries. I will take you, uh, there are many incidents coming in your life. People are, does not understand why these incidents are coming. Most of the uh, people who are training here, they are blaming me. Pastor, why you are silent? People are attacking me. People are speaking against me. Why you are silent? Are you understanding? In the old church, my pastor will drive away everyone. Why the pastor is driving all the people, those, are, those who are creating problems? The pastor does not know the mystery of the kingdom. How many of you understand? What is saying Matthew 13, 10? And the disciples came and said to him, Why do you speak to them in parables? And Jesus is replying, the book of Matthew chapter 13, 10, He answered and said to them, Because it has been given to you, to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it has not been given. You read it in your... Uh, so, who are the people who are uh, complaining? Because they do not know the mystery of the kingdom. They do not know why they are here. Did you understand? In a church... In a church, actually in, in this ministry, this is not a ministry just for believers. This is a ministry to equip evangelists, pastors, teachers, prophets and apostles for end time revival. This is a ministry connected with all the nations. This ministry is connected with all the nations of the world. So, like these people here, humbly I say, we are having everywhere, in USA also there will be some meeting, in Canada also there will be people like this, in Africa, in Australia, in Brazil, in Asia, in UAE, everywhere, in Dubai, everywhere, yeah. So, this is a ministry that is connected with all the nations. And those who are faithful, God will lift them up and send to the nations. How many of you understand? Those people have no revelation will come and say, Pastor, no keyboard. Why? This is not a place to play the keyboard. How many of you understand? This is a place to give training. Somebody will say, Pastor, why no worship leaders, good singers? That's why people are not coming. If you uh, bring some worship leaders, many people will come. This is not a place to uh, grow the church, but this is a place to give training. How many of you understand? So, people who does not know their calling, they will happen to be here. If you, if you are an anointed person, 
when you come here god will reveal why you are here 